I can already feel it working. People's knees grind when they sit down, don't they? This supports it and you can feel it pushing here. I purposely wanted to check this on uneven ground, like this. If this can assist people to enjoy the great outdoors like this. Hello again everybody, hope you're well. This video is all about dances. And if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you remember when we reviewed this. And this is the exoskeleton. This is the, this is the X1 exoskeleton. And the idea of this one was to fit round your waist on your legs. And it actually has a motor on your hip that lifts your legs up. This is a video running here. Lift your legs up to give you um, extra support and extra strength to run or to go up hills or just to walk. And you could use it as a training device as well. And this was great fun to film. And uh, I've had lots of people com contact me about this and ask about it. And most of my friends have borrowed this and had a play with it. I had to shoot off yesterday to go and pick it back up again. I couldn't even remember who had it at that particular point. But um, this has been a great piece of kit. It's been great fun and works really well and very well designed. But there was lots of comments and in the video for this and lots of people asking me generally what does it help if you've got bad knees or bad hips and this is not designed to help you in a particular way for a medical uh, issue now dances have contacted me again with something slightly different and in these two boxes here is the new device and this here is a very very good idea and uh, I think it's going to work really well. Um, it's a device that fits around your leg, around your knee to support your knee. So it has a motor on it and it, it, the motor pushes on back of your leg and at the, behind your knee, uh, on your thigh and the back of the calf. And it's fitted in a particular way to aid the knee to move up and down and assist and give you some additional support in the knee but also the motor takes some of the pressure off the knee so if you have a knee issue and there are lots of people that have knee issues i checked on google um, today and in the uk there's over a hundred thousand knee operations knee replacement operations a year in the uk so it's obviously a big issue I've had a couple of knee issues which have recovered from thankfully um, but I've got lots of friends that have you know had all sorts of problems with knee issues and the waiting list to get your knee replaced or get some operation on your knee is, is a long period of time. So on the market there's lots of things for like leg supports and knee supports and braces but this actually puts a motor in to take some of the pressure off the knee. And this also works not just for climbing up hills and walking generally, but also walking downhill. Um, we live on the top of a hill, so we're forever walking up and down hills. But my knees generally hurt more as I'm walking downhill. And this will help with that as well as walking uphill. So there's lots of stats and information about this that we'll cover in a bit. But we'll put this on and we'll go outside. I'm going to film this in the same place I filmed this video. Um, because there's a big hill here and I want to test it to see what support it gives me from going up the hill and also going down the hill. So just before I fit this and I'm not going to go into all the details about exactly how you fit this because uh, dances do supply a very very good video and the key with this is to get it set up for you as an individual. Um, make sure it's comfortable and in the right position around your waist and also on your knees, above your knees and below your knees. There's certain measurements you need to get it in the best position for it to work. So it's got to be comfortable and in those positions for you as an individual. And Dances produce their own video that shows very detailed how that fits and how it works. So the basis of it, you get a waist belt like this and this is very similar to the other one. It's a bit more flexible and lighter. There's the control unit on the back with an on and off button on the back. Has these connectors on and those connectors fit to these straps which are also adjustable and this part of the setup for your particular size. These clip into here to give the power to the motor and it looks like these are the same motors that was on the other unit. And then you have these pads, there's three pads and these fit on the front and back of your leg, above your knee and below your knee. And this motor, as you walk, it uses artificial intelligence inside 
to assist and take the pressure off your knee. So this stops your knee and your leg moving this way because it's clamped on and these are strong supports, but also gives that additional lift, the power in this, works with your knee to take the pressure off. And I think it says in the stats, I'll put some clips in about the stats around it, but about 30% release of pressure by using this than you would normally have if you didn't have this. So this could really, really be useful for a hell of a lot of people. The quality of this is really good. It's very adjustable. Um, this is the waistband and this goes underneath your belly button, like so. It has a clip on the side, but it also has this Velcro adjuster. It's got like a metal clip with a quick release on it, like so. And this needs to be well positioned. These sides here need to be down the side of your leg. And that's where these connectors, the power connectors to the motors actually fit. These are left or right, there's one for each side. There's lots of adjustment in these. These straps are adjustable. As I say, this long strap which holds the cables adjustable. And this strap that goes, this uh, support that goes to the back of the thigh is adjustable. And there's a little button on it to get it to the right height. It's a bit of a messing about once you first get it, but once you set it up, it's just easy to put it on and off once it's set up to your size. So there we have it fitted. You'll see more when I go outside with it. But if you look, there's a pad here that fits on back of your calf, like a cantilever. There's, there's, sorry, on back of your thigh. And then there's one on back of your calf. There's one on the front here and a strap there. And these need to be in a specific position. As I say, the instructions come with it. These are nice and straight down the side of my leg in the right position. And it's reasonably comfortable now I've got it set up properly. This is your battery, your lithium battery. It's rechargeable. And this fits on the back with a cable. So you have this connector cable. This part fits onto the battery. And it's, uh, it's well made. It sort of clips into place and also has a magnet on it as well. And there's a little clip on the belt here underneath that velcro strap and that's where the battery sits like so the right way around that clips into place and please it's not a massive battery and then this goes around here and fits into this control unit like so and then to switch it on you press and hold the button at the back beeps and powers up and then you press the button quickly twice and you can feel the motors come into action I can already feel it working. It makes you feel real light on your feet. And it stops that sort of grinding when you walk up steps. I'm pleased to say it's not loud. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone. It's a real windy day today. He's really clever. Right, let's take it up the hill. And of course I need to take a massive camera bag with me. Extra weight on my knees. It's a bit like the other exoskeleton we tried with for this company. It's like when you first put it on, it feels a little bit awkward. But you soon get used to it and it seems to it's like you're feeling you, you haven't got any assistance but when you switch it off you can tell there's a, you've lost the assistance another thing i can tell with it is because it's got this connector here there's no movement that way in your knee i know there's lots of issues with knees moving in different ways that cause people problems but this, strapped here and strapped here with the support at the back, keeps the knee and the leg straight, if that makes sense. You can move it at the ankle, but there's very little movement in that area. So if your knee struggles when it moves like that, and the ligaments or the cartilages are have a problem, this does keep it straight like a leg brace. I've walked about half a mile in this now with it on, and definitely comfortable. 
you start to forget you're wearing it. You can hear the motors. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone. It's like a squeaking sound. Let's put the microphone next to it. It's a bit windy, so it might not work. Hopefully you can hear that. The thing I always think about when I review something like this, something that assists people, like the other unit they had, it will hopefully help people get out more. So that one was more about power into your legs. And this is trying to address an issue that people have with the knees, maybe. But if it helps people to get out into this beautiful countryside like this, how good is that? I can actually see in the future, potentially these being used by athletes for recovery. I don't know what the medical issues are around that. And this company at saying these medical research related to using these, it's just the practical common sense that if your leg, your knee can't move sideways because of the support, it's like a leg support. And then that additionality of having a motor to lift your knee and bend your knee and put it back down again to assist with walking upstairs, up hills, downstairs, down hills, or just general mobility. It can't be a bad thing, can it? One thing to note about this, it's one directional. So you can walk backwards if you do it slowly, but it is designed one directional to move you forward only. Else it'll start to lock and you can feel the restriction. I purposely wanted to check this on uneven ground, like this. It's the bit of clip I was sent by them was going up and down stairs, which is great, but this is uneven ground. And I purposely wore trainers as well, so my ankles were all over the place. And it copes with it, no problem whatsoever. If this can assist people to enjoy the great outdoors like this, what a fancy, fantastic idea. It feels like it's actually putting the brakes on slightly as you're walking downhill. Oh, but it's really noticeable when you're going uphill. <laughs> the knees of a teenager. <laughs> it's not designed for running in. It's like a mobility aid, I would say. I'm sure they'll get some scientific or medical backing for this eventually. It definitely understands if you're walking up or down. So as you're walking down, it puts like a brake on. So it uses this as a counter brace to support your knee when you're walking down. Then when you're walking up, it actually works the other way and lifts the knee, if that makes sense. It's really noticeable when you got onto a steep hill. Up and down, that is. You can hear the motors working harder. How good is that? I suppose you could almost wear this under some baggy trousers. I purposely put shorts on today so I could show the fitting of above the knee and below the knee. The key to getting it working right, and I know I keep saying this, is to follow the instructions and make sure all these measurements and everything's in the right place for your size. Once you've done that, you just strap them on and off you go. You can do the squat as well, support you in a squat position like so where it actually rests your legs. So I suppose that's for when you're sitting down. People's knees grind when they sit down, don't they? This supports it and you can feel it pushing here on the calves, uh, sorry, on, on the back of your thighs. You know that old thing we all do when we stand up and go, Whoa! this might stop the groaning when you get in and out of your chair. Suitably impressed. I don't know the price of these yet because they're, they're not even on the market yet. They've sent me this to test and do a video about it to see what I think. 
but I'll put all the information in the description below and any links to send me. I'm breathing heavy because I'm going uphill. <laughs> My knees are okay, but I think I need a combination of both. The one that gives you that additional power and the knee supports. Maybe that's a future development for him. There's the van right over there. And we've just come up a big hill. You can't see it drops off after there. And they haven't faulted at all. And they are comfortable. So my final thoughts, what do I think? Well, I'm very impressed. I was impressed with the last one we tested and that was completely different. As I keep saying, that was to assist people, mobility, and it was like having strings on your legs. It's like being a puppet. The motors would lift your legs and help you to walk or run, or you could use it as a training device where you put it on the negative setting and you work against that to build your muscle up. This is something completely different. This is more like an aid for people with knee issues. Now, I'm not medically trained in any way, and I would say if you've got a knee issue and you're thinking of using one of these, if it's just the grind and the normal wear and tear, but if you're speaking to a GP or a surgeon about it, I'd ask their advice before you used it just to make sure you're not going to cause any problems. But generally, somebody like me, I'm over 60 now, my knees do grind, particularly as I say going downhill. And I don't need new, new knees, I don't want to go for injections and stuff, and I just generally put up with it. But this takes that away. And I can imagine if you're worse than me, or maybe even when I get older, I might rely on something like this a lot more to, to still enable me to get out and do this. I think it's a really good idea, really good design. And uh, I wonder what they're going to bring out next. So that just leads me to say thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Whatever will we have next. <laughs>